tackle about midpoint formula. When you say midpoint, hahanapin mo yung gitna. Nasaan kaya ang pinakagitna ng dalawang points na ito? Okay, we are going to find for the midpoint of uh, between two points. Nasaan kaya ang pinakagitna? For example, this one, we have here 5. Uh, so, since nasa x-axis siya, this one is 5 and 0, then this one is 11 and 0. So, we are going to find for the midpoint. Ano ba yung pinakagitna? So, using this Cartesian plane, makikita mo na siya, um, count mo lang, ano yung pinakagitna? So, this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, yung pinakagitna niya, eto, kitang kita mo na. So, a midpoint ni 5 and 0 and 11 and 0, we have here 8 and 0. Let us have the formula for the midpoint. So, the formula for the midpoint, we have here M. Then, we have your X of, uh, midpoint of X and then for Y. Coordinate midpoint of X and the coordinate midpoint for Y is equal to, open parentheses, so, we have for the x, midpoint of x, we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by, by 2. Then, for y, we have y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by, by 2. So, for us to find for the coordinate of the midpoint of x, we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. And y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2 for the coordinate of the midpoint of y. Is it clear? So, let us have this one. Tingnan natin kung tama yung sagot natin using this formula. We have your 5, 0, and then 11, and 0. So, our x sub 1 and x sub 2. Your x here, we have 5, plus your x sub 2, we have 11, divided by by 2. Then, the other one, we have y and y, which is parehas naman 0, 0 plus 0, divided by 2. So, our midpoint is equal to... 5 plus 11, we have 16 divided by 2. Then, 0 plus 0, we have 0. 16 divided by 2, your midpoint, we have 8 and 0. So, your answer is correct. Is it clear? That's midpoint formula. Let us have those examples. Find the midpoint of the following. We have here point A and point B. We are going to find for the midpoint. So, our formula, we have here m is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by by 2. Then, for y, we have y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by by 2. So, just substitute, we have here x sub 1, we have here negative 3 plus x sub 2, we have here positive 4. Then, divided by by 2. Next, we have your y, which is 4. Then, we have your y sub 2, which is negative 2. So, since positive times negative, minus na to. Okay? Divide by by 2. Then, solve. Negative 3 plus 4, the answer is positive 1. So, 1 half. Then, next this one, 4 minus 2, the answer is 2. 2 divided by 2, the answer is 1. So, this is now your midpoint. Okay? Next tayo. Let us have number 2. So, we have a given formula. Parehas lang naman. We have your x sub 1. What is your x sub 1 here? We have negative 2. Your x sub 2, we have 5. Plus negative 5. So, minus 5. Divide by by 2. And then, for y, we have negative 4. This is your y sub 1, then y sub 2, minus 1, divided by by 2. Then, it is equal to negative 2 minus 5. So, since they are same sign, just copy the sign, then add 2 plus 5, the answer is 7, divided by 2. Then, negative 4 minus 1, that is negative 5 over 2. So, ito na yung midpoint pa. Or, pwede mo siyang i-change into... Uh, next number. So, we have um, negative 3 and 1 half. And the other one, we have negative 2 and 1 half. So, that is your midpoint. Is it clear? Let us have next examples. Number 3. 
we have negative 12, 7, and then 30, negative 13. 36, negative 13. So, your midpoint formula again, we have x sub, uh, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by by 2. And then, for y, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by by 2. Then, substitute. We have here x sub 1. Your x sub 1 is negative 12, then plus x sub 2, which is 36, divided by by 2. Next, your y sub 1, we have 7, plus negative 13, so minus 13, divided by by 2. Then, simplify, negative 12 plus 36, the answer is positive 24. Why positive? Kasi mas mataas yung positive 36, yung Yung 36 kaya sa kay 12, which is the sign is positive. Divide by 2. Then, that's 1. 7 minus 13. Ang answer mo dapat ay negative. Kasi mas mataas yung 13 sa 7, which is the sign of 13 is negative. So, subtract mo na lang. So, 13 minus 7, the answer we have negative 6. Divide by 2. Then, simplify. So, our midpoint is 24 divided by 2, we have 12, and then negative 6 divided by 2, we have negative 3. This is now your midpoint. Okay? Next tayo, let us have number 4. So, we have a formula again. Then, for us to find the midpoint, x sub 1, your x sub 1 is negative 3, your x sub 2, we have negative 9, so minus 9. Okay? Divide by by 2. Then, the other one, we have y sub 1, which is 10. Then, yung y sub 2 mo is negative 9, so minus 9. Divide by 2. Then, we have simplify. This is negative 3 minus 9, same sign, so it becomes negative 12. Divided by 2. Then, different sign, 10 minus 9, the answer is 1 half. Ayan na. Then, simplify mo lang to. So, the answer, we have negative 6 and then 1 half. So, that's with midpoint formula. Ngayon, yung susunod naman natin, paano naman kung nawawala ito, ang given mo is um, yung midpoint and the other point. Okay? Let's move. Let's have this example. Find the missing point given the midpoint and the other point. So, let us name your midpoint as point M. Ah, ito yung midpoint mo. Ah, ito yung given natin na midpoint. Then, ito yung isang point. Then, we are going to find for the other points. Parang ganito. For example, this to you, ito yung um, M, which is 0 and 1. Ito yung midpoint mo. Then, ito yung isang mong point, 0 and 4. We are going to find for these other points. Okay? So, yan yung nawawala. Yung kalahate. So, how will you find this one? So, we are going to apply again the formula for the midpoint. So, yung formula natin for the midpoint ay equal kay x sub 2, uh, sorry, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. Yan yung for x. So, for y ito y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by by 2. So, dito muna tayo kay x. Okay? Mamaya na yung kay y. So, yung midpoint natin, ito yung x natin, ba? So, we have here yung x muna tayo. So, midpoint ni x. Yan. Is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. Para makuha natin yung coordinate ni x. At dito muna tayo kay x. So, yung midpoint ni x ay 0. 0 is equal to, ang x sub 1 mo na given here ay nawawala. For example, sa x sub 1 ay nawawala. So, siya yung nawawala. Plus, yung, yung pangalawa mong x, we have here 0 ulit. Then, divide by 2. Then, just cross multiply. So, 2 times 0, we have 0. Is equal to x plus 0. So, this one, ang x mo lang is 0 x mo ay equals to 0. So, yung isang mong point ay 0. Next tayo, kay y tayo. So, yung midpoint ni y is equal to y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by by 2. Then, just substitute. Yung midpoint niya, ito yon y, 
we have 1 is equal to y sub 1 yung nawawala plus yung y sub 2 we have here 4. Then divide by 2. Then cross multiply lang. 2 times 1. The answer is 2 is equals to y plus 4. Then for us to find for y, we are going to transpose. Lipat ko lang dito ah. So 2 is equals to y plus 4. Lilipat mo lang yung 4 to the other side. So we have here 2 minus 4 is equals to y. So your y is what is 2 minus 4? We have negative 2. So, 0 and negative 2. So, this is your answer. So, ibig sabihin, yung nawawalang point ay si 0 and negative 2. Is it clear? Okay, let us have another example. Let's have number 2. We have a given midpoint of 3 over 2 and then 5 over 2. Then, yung isang mong point is 8 and 6. We are going to find for the other point. Okay? So, halimbawa, ito yung midpoint mo, 3 over 2 and then 5 over 2. Then, this one is the other point which is 8 and 6. For example lang, eh. So, we are going to find for the other points. Uh, yung x sub 1 mo at saka y sub 2. Yun yung hanapin natin. So, we have your formula for m midpoint of x is equal to... Uh, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by by 2. Doon muna tayo doon sa x mo. So, your midpoint, this is your midpoint x and then your midpoint y. Coordinate of x, coordinate of y. So, your coordinate of x, we have 3 here, 3 over 2 is equal to your midpoint of y, um, your x sub 1 is missing. Plus, yung x sub 2 mo, ito yung x sub 2, then this one is y sub 2. Just copy. Then, divide by 2. Then, what you are going to do here, uh, cross multiply lang tayo. So, we have 2 times 3. Uh, meaning yan, 3 over 2 times 2. Yan yun eh, magkocross multiply ka. Equals to x sub 1 plus 8. Yan. Then, this one, just cancel to. Kasi magigitong 3 times 2, we have 6 divided by 2. The answer is 3. Or cancel mo na lang. Ang matitira ay si 3. Okay? So, we have here 3 is equals to x sub 1 plus 8. Okay? So, we have just transpose. Lipat natin dito. We have here 3 minus 8 is equals to x. So, x natin, we have... Negative 5. That is your first x. Negative 5. Hanapin na lang natin i c y. Next tayo. We have m sub y is equals to yung y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by by 2. So, your m sub y, we have 5 over 2 here. 5 over 2 is equal to y sub 1, we have missing. Plus y sub 2, we have here 6. Divide by 2. Cross multiply ulit. So, we have 5 over 2 times 2 is equal to y sub 1 plus 6. So, ito, cancel na lang. Matitira na lang ay si 5. Equals to y sub 1 plus 6. Transpose lang. So, your y, we have 5. Si 6 ay magiging negative 6. So, we have y is equals to 5 minus 6. The answer here is negative 1. So, ang sagot natin ay negative 5 and negative 1. This is the other points. Is it clear? So, ganyan lang yung proseso kapag naman ang nawawala is the other points. Okay? So, that's all for midpoint formula. Hope you like this video at meron kayong natutunan. So, just subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe on my YouTube. Thank you!